Well, hey there, folks. Mrs. Chef was wanting curry, and uh, there's no curry places around here, that's for sure. So we're going to make a kind of curry with what we got. Join us. Ciao, y'all. Now, now, today... So she's wanting like a Thai curry, so I think we're gonna use some ginger here. I did have some ginger here, some chilies, onion, and we'll see what else we got. All right, so there's a prep. What I'm doing, I'm just utilizing all the stuff we have, like a half an onion, a couple of some, a little, I have like two, two pieces of uh, green onion left, I have cilantro and parsley. Tomato, had these poblano chilies, some yellow chilies, and uh, yeah, this couple of uh, cloves of garlic. And had some limes already cut up, so uh, yeah. Let's do some Thai style food. All right, folks, got a pretty good sized pot here. We're gonna put in a little sesame oil here. All right, so first thing in, our chicken. That's just one chicken bread. So while we're doing our chicken here, we're gonna also throw in uh, chilies and onions. I'm doing this in a pretty good sized pot. It don't need to be this big, but I wanna saute and add the sauce directly in to kind of make this a one pot deal. And I'm going to cook some basmati rice separate of this and uh, pour this mixture over the basmati once we got it all uh, done here. That's smelling delicious. Alright, so that's been going about two minutes or so, maybe three. We're going to go ahead and add our green onion, our ginger, and our garlic. That's really going to enhance the, the smell and the flavor here. All we're doing is building flavor profile, texture on top of texture. Make it a really complex tasting meal. This is all of this stuff I had laying around. It wasn't, uh, I didn't buy any of this stuff today, anything. Stuff I have for a week or two I need to use. That's smelling absolutely delicious, folks. Wish I had smell of vision all up in here. We're going to add the rest of our ingredients there. We had uh, cilantro, some parsley, and uh, half a tomato. It's very ripe and uh, actually perfect for this. Ooh, yeah, that smells so delicious. Mm. That smell good, Mr. Chef? Yeah, it smells heavenly. Ginger and chilies and onions, man. Eh? Sesame oil can't go wrong. Mm. Smelling delicious. All right, so them chilies are actually these chilies are really spicy, so it's got some nice heat. I just tried a little uh, piece of chicken out of there. So I'm gonna add some ground turmeric in here. This will give you that nice curry look and smell and flavor. Um, also, I don't have any fish sauce. Normally, if you're doing some kind of Thai dish, you have a little fish sauce. I don't have any. But I do have some oyster sauce, which has a fish flavor, and it's made of oysters, so it's very similar, just thicker. I'm gonna put a little of this in here. There we go. Also, this Miami Tropical has uh, some curry aspects to it, so I thought that'd be a nice little uh, thing to put in here. So I got this bag of Miami Tropical. I'll throw a spoonful of that in here. There we go. Yeah, I'll get the heat up a little bit. I have some sambal in there, but I'm just going to use some regular hufong here, some uh, sriracha. Increase that heat just a bit. Again, we're just building flavor on top of flavor on top of flavor. When you taste this, you're like, damn, it's good. All right, last thing here. The last main ingredient here is going to be the coconut milk. Let's get this to stir up. And you should start, oh, that's kind of hot. The candle I had it sitting kind of over the heat. Uh, you should start seeing that nice curry look from that turmeric and all. 
And uh, once the uh, coconut milk gets heated all the way through, it'll, it'll kind of make like a nice rich sauce instead of looking just kind of granular right now with the, uh, the fats all still solidified. All right, so I'm gonna squeeze some lime juice off in there. And normally I would put a little Thai sweet chili sauce. I don't believe I have any, so. I need just a little hint of sweetness to this. But I don't want the sauce to be sweet, sweet. So I'm gonna squeeze just a little bit of honey here in a second in here. All right, I'm gonna put just a little bit of organic honey in here. Like I said, not much. I don't want this sauce to be sweet. Just, just that little hint of sweet. I think I'll put just a little more turmeric in there. Give a little more color. There we go. Ooh wee, that's smelling delicious, folks. Put the heat off. There we go, folks. Isn't that beautiful? I guarantee you it tastes delicious. So, uh, you know, clean out your fridge and make you something up. Heck yeah. Heck yeah.